Hey team, I just wanted to take a quick minute <coughs> and show you um, the new system that I'm using for host coaching email. Um, previously I had showed you the email suite that I had in Outlook where I simply saved a template of an email and sent it to a host um, and there were different emails for different things and um, a host would get four or five emails in a row and then another email closer to the time of the party. So now with Evernote, it is simple and um, one email instead of four or five and I'm very excited. So I wanted to show you what I'm doing. Um, I've got pulled up here on the screen a party resource center note. And this is just a, um, I created this in an email in Outlook and forwarded it to Evernote to save. Um, but it's just an email that I will send to my host and in it it has the um, party date and time here. It has the date that we're going to close the party here and then it has her host passcode here. This is the only thing that's personal about the whole email. So you can forward this one email to a host and if you have four different parties in a month all you have to do is change those one, two, three spots and then you're good to go. So if you scroll down in the notes, you'll see here it says below you'll find links to all of the important information to make your party a success and I've listed the important things that they need to look for. So specials, order forms, how to total orders, invitations, the recipe, and some tips for a successful party. And you'll see here that I have a link to each of these different things. So like this first one says party specials including an order form and there is a link. So when they click on that link it's going to pop up onto a web page for them and you'll see that it has the host specials, um, the guest specials, it even has information about the business and the catalog as well as an attached ordering instructions, order form, and host booking benefits. What's so cool about Evernote is that because it's a link to a web page, there's no actual attachments being emailed, and that means that your emails are less likely to go to spam because with all these pictures and attachments, they can be pretty big. So this allows you to create one party specials email or note for the month, and then you simply, in Evernote, take that note and you create a link. So I'm going to open over here on the left the party specials notes. So you can see when this opens, it looks just like the web page that we just went to. I'll scroll down so you can see. It's got all of the pictures, the text, even has the attachments at the bottom. And up here at the top, there is a little share feature. And you see if you click that, it lets you send by email, post to Facebook. What you do is you do copy note URL to clipboard. So you click that and it creates um, a URL link, which is a web page link, and then you go back to your main party resource center, and you just simply click here, oops, sorry, let's go back. You click here, and you would right click and paste, and there is your link. So it's that simple, nothing more to it. I'm going to delete it since I already have it in there. So each one of these links is its own note in my Evernote account, but it's just another web page for them to go to to click on. So it has everything in one place, and it saves you a ton of time. So all you have to do once a month is go through and update your party special note, um, maybe your menu. Um, so for example, mine says, like if you click on party menu, it takes them to the web page, and it shows that I've got a little sneak peek of what we're having for the month. And um, again, it's generic because I do the same menu all month long. So there's no opening every single email and editing and personalizing every single email. It's just very simple. So what I can do is I will save to Dropbox um, uh, the parties. This is in my parties folder. You'll see here I've got different notebooks. So my parties notebook has all of the notes that I use for a party. I've got a resource center for a catalog party which has some different links like the Pamper Chef online catalog or using your Pamper Chef Facebook event. So they have different things. So um, I will save 
the party's notebook um, Evernote file to Dropbox. I will create in the host coaching folder, I will create a folder called Evernote um, host email. And in there, you will find a parties dot, and I believe it's E-N-E-X file type. Don't open it. What you need to do is go into your Evernote, and um, you can just click File, and you'll click Import, then Evernote Export Files. And you'll go to Dropbox, and you'll grab that file that I've saved, and it will pull in all of these emails or all of these notes to your Evernote account and you'll have them for you and you can go in and personalize them so you can get rid of my picture and my signature um, if you're doing something different with specials or um, maybe you're doing a different menu you can go in and personalize them after you personalize each note you'll want to go to your resource center and paste new links to your notes because even though you're going to be importing my information when you um, go to the resource center here even if you go to your party special and you make a change, this link that I send you right here, this one, that is going to link to my email or my notes. So you want to go in, make your changes, and then click copy note URL, and then go back to your party resource center and copy a new URL that will link to yours. And you can click on it to make sure that it takes it to the right one. So I hope this makes sense. I hope it's helpful for you. If you have any questions, post them to the group page. Um, I'm very excited about this, and I've been using it with hosts for my April party. And um, the very first couple of hosts, I asked very specific questions to them, let them know that I was using a new system, and asked them things like, could you find the order form okay? Or could you figure out where your invitation options were? And both, both of them that I asked right away said, yeah, it was very easy to navigate. So the key is communicating with your host and making sure that they understand that what you're sending them is going to be in an email um, and that everything they need is contained within that one email um, and then making sure that they click on it and read it. So you'll want to go in and make sure um, that when you send it that follow up a day or two later and make sure that they've read things. Now, one last thing I do want to tell you. When you're sending this to your host, you want to be sure that this resource center email, that you actually email this note instead of sharing a note URL for this one. And what I mean by that is when you share a note via URL, this link right here, any changes that you make to that note are always going to be current anytime somebody clicks on that link. What's really cool is that you could send something you know, let's say you send the specials and then Paper Chef announces a new special. Well, the next time they click on that link, it's going to give them the new and most current version of your note, which is great for you because you don't have to resend it. However, if you take this Resource Center note and you do this via URL, so today we have Saturday, April 20th host information, but then let's say tomorrow I'm going to send one for April 28th. Well, the April 20th host is now going to see April 28th because I've updated the note. So it's really important that what you do for this particular note is that you share it via email. So once you get all of your links and you've got it all set up, you've got your host party date, you've got the um, close date in here, and you've got your password, all you have to do is you click share, send by email, and put in your host email right here. Now I like to copy myself on the email so that I know it goes through and then that way in a day or two if I haven't heard from them then I can follow up, hey did you get that email that I sent? So uh, I hope that makes sense. If you have questions let me know. It's a little complicated I know but it's really easy once you get using it and Evernote is a lifesaver when it comes to organization. So I hope you like it and um, you can use it. So I'll talk to you soon. Thanks.